Good morning, my friends. How are you all? Today we are going to talk about uh, finding con conditional probabilities using contingency table. So I will share my screen with you. At a large factory, the employees were surveyed and classified according to their level of education and whether they smoked. The data are shown in the table. So your smoking habit is the first column. The second column is not high school graduate. The third column is high school graduate. And the fourth column is college graduate. And you have two rows of data, smoking, in each category of level of education and do not smoke the second row in each category of the level of education. This kind of table is called a contingency table. In order to work with this contingency table, we have to total each row and each column. We will start by adding the numbers in each column. Six plus 18 is 24. And 14 plus 7 is 21. And 19 plus 25 is 44. So these uh, numbers in purple are the total of each column. Next, we will do total of each row. I'll change the color in that case. Just uh, to highlight that we are adding the rows. Now it will be 6 plus 14 plus 19 in the first row. So 6 plus 14 plus 19 is equal to 39. So if I write total over here for the rows, the first row is 39. So it is 39. The next row, I will add 18 plus 7 plus 25. And that is equal to 50. So 50. Now if I add 50 plus 39, I get 89. Let's check. To find the sum of the columns, do they add up to 89? That is, I will add 24 plus 21 plus 44. And the answer is 89 also. So that is 89 is equal to N, my sample size. Okay. So... My sample size is 89. So I'll change the color of keys, the color of my pen. Back to purple and do the problem. So solution. Part A. Given that the employee did not graduate from high school, so we write it like this, did not graduate, uh, no, part A is the employee smokes given that he or she graduated from college. So college graduate given, that happens first, and then what after that, the Okay, the employee smokes, so smoke. So this line is given. The event after this vertical line is what happened first, that this person is a college graduate, out of which some people smoke. That is what we have to find out. So since college graduate happened first, we take the total of that column, put it in the denominator as 44, 
Out of this 44, how many smoked? 19 out of 44. So we find in our calculator 19 divided by 44. And that is equal to 0 0.432. Okay, or there is a 43.2% chance that the person is a smoker given that he or she is a college graduate. Okay, so this is, I should write, this is part A. So part B, given that the employee did not graduate for, from high school, he or she smokes. So probability did not graduate did not graduate from high school that happened first that is the event that happened first given the person did not graduate from high school okay and what is the probability that he or she smokes so given the person did not graduate from high school that happened first that even and out of them how many are smoking okay so that is what we have to find out so did not graduate from high school the total of that column is 24 out of them how many are smoking 6 out of 24 is 0. Two five or 25% probability that the person is smoking given he or she did not graduate from high school. So part C, uh, let me just that. So this part C and then let's also change the color of the key. And let's make this a little bit small to create a little space for us. So part C says, are the events did not graduate from high school and smoker independent? Okay, so for part C, find first we will find that what is the probability that the person is a smoker okay and that is equal to total number of smokers uh, for addition of the or the sum of the first row the number is 39 out of a grand sample size of 89 39 divided by 89, 39 divided by 89, which is 0 0.438. And we already know the person is a smoker given he or she did not graduate from high school. from high school, high school is equal to 0 0.25. So if I create some space for myself, okay. So we see that the probability of smoker is not equal to probability of smoker given did not graduate from high school. From high school. Why? Because probability of smoker is zero point this one is 0 0.43 and this one is 0 0.25. Okay, so since the probabilities are not equal, 
since the probabilities are not equal. are not equal. Therefore, the events, the events, smoker and did not graduate from high school. are dependent, are not independent, are not independent. What does it mean? It means if you are a smoker, that event is influenced by whether you did not graduate from high school. Why? Because probability of smoker is not equal to probability of smoker given the person did not graduate from high school. These probabilities are not equal. Therefore, the two events, smoker and did not graduate from high school, are not independent. Okay. So, I'll stop here today. If you have any question or comment, you can always uh, write me a note. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and please let your friends know about this video so that you and your friends can subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. I'll see you next time when I'll come back with a new problem, new solution. Thanks for watching. Take care. Have a nice day. See you.